Hey friends, my name is Roger DeWayne. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. We so happy to have you. If you're not new here, friend, you already know what we're about to say. Come on and say it with me. We are biggity, 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 Back with another video. Listen, y'all, this is editing and Bonnet Roger coming to y'all Um, because, listen, so I recorded this last night. And, child, I did not realize that my whole situation up here was lifting. I... <laughs> <laughs> I use some lot the lot of body um edging troll and I like literally y'all I really knew like I knew it wasn't gonna hold but y'all I thought it was holding me during the video but child from the beginning of the video it won't hold in me so I just want to let y'all know I excuse that part of the video um because I use that lot of body edge control and child it does a really good job at like getting it slick but it does not do a good job at like holding it it the hold is not there. But I'm done talking. Y'all enjoy the video. All right, y'all. So in this video, y'all. So listen, I had some other videos planned for y'all. But listen, so I had did a live. I did a live on Sunday, y'all. And I was actually, I was really, I was not planning on really liking the jail. I didn't even think the jail was going to be all of that. That's why I was like, you know, I'll take this part up. But y'all, listen. Like, you see me? Do you see me? Do you see me? Because I know I see me, but do you see me? Like, <laughs> these curls are giving what they're supposed to have gave. But listen, I'm done talking for right now. Make sure if you aren't following me on Instagram, go follow me on Instagram, Roger Dwayne underscore. We be having fun over there. Also, make sure you watch the whole video because y'all know we trying to get the 4K watch always, baby. We got a collab. The collab got to come. So watch the full video. I'm done. I'll see y'all in the video. back make sure you go ahead and like comment and subscribe hit that post notification bell so you get notified when i upload all right y'all so literally that gel shocked me y'all so listen so we were doing a live on sunday and i was trying the product and i was telling them i've never seen anybody review this product i have not seen a review of this product so i'm gonna go ahead and let y'all know what the name of this what this product is it is the main choice exotic kool-aid jello um gel whatever you want to call it y'all y'all know they got some crazy names but <laughs> is that gel y'all so i've never seen anybody review this product like i was telling them on i've only ever seen people um review their cheers gelato gel their pearly glaze gel and they have a, like a do it for the culture gel i haven't tried any of those gels this is like one of the only gels that i've really tried from the main choice because i haven't really tried any of their styling products i have only tried like their deep conditioners i've tried a shampoo or two and i tried like their leave-in conditioners but i've never tried really a styling product from the main choice so if you miss my live i'm gonna let y'all see a little bit of what was going on in the live y'all because literally y'all this gel you could just see how shocked i was so i really was not expecting this from that gel so if you did miss the live i'm gonna go ahead and show you what had happened in that live y'all because listen um i was not ready i don't even think the people that was on the live was ready we were not ready for the gel the gel had it, it really had came through it really did now listen so i'm gonna show y'all the footage from the live but then i'm gonna come back and let you know like my finished thoughts letting you know exactly how i felt about a gel letting you know exactly like things i would have did different because, you know, I got some things I need to say. It was good, but I got some things I need to say. <sighs> My hair feels soft, though. It feels really good. That Listen, 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 listen. If y'all looking for a main choice product that you need to get, it is the Tropical Moringa Leave-In Conditioner. That's the one product you absolutely need in your life. Hit a, high, hit a note for us. <sighs> Girl... I'm noted out for the day. <laughs> Hit a note. Lord, you are good. You've been so good. Lord, you are good. Okay, I'm not going to put no water on it. I'm not going to put no water on my hair yet. I'm just going to go ahead. So, listen. So, this is the product right here, right, y'all? This is how the product look. Let me just give, give y'all the demonstration. It's real, real jelly-like. I apply too much crap. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Y'all. Uh oh. Hold on. 
Hold up, wait. Y'all, hold on. For, okay, let me just apply to the whole section. I'm going to apply to a whole section of hair. I'm trying not to be heavy-handed. <laughs> Let me stop lying, child. I'm just heavy-handed, and I'm not about to sit up here and play like I'm not. <sighs> For any gel to do this to my hair without me really putting a, a, a curling cream, especially to the front of my hair, y'all. The front of my hair, y'all have seen me talk about so much. It just does not curl a lot of times. But today, 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 Ah, y'all, whoa, whoa. <laughs> the main choice has showed up and showed out. They are in the building. Uh, bruh. I wish. <laughs> y'all, I'm going to see y'all later. I'm going to cut this live off. I'm about to do a video. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, child. Dang, this. <sighs> okay, I got a thumbnail. <laughs> Dang. Man. Look at those curls, y'all. I've never gotten my front to curl up just like that. Y'all know the boo. Oh, we thank you on today, Lord. <laughs> Child, I ain't about to do that video. I ain't nobody about to cut this live off. They better come back and watch this dad going live. I'll tell them, what time is it? You need to fast forward 34 minutes. <laughs> fast forward 34 minutes. Wow, y'all. Child, look at them curls. Hold on, let me see. Can I get them to separate just a little bit? Ooh, I cannot sh wait to show y'all the daggone results. So when people start asking me, how do you do this? How do you do that? Go look at my YouTube channel. You need me to send you the link? Do you need me to send you the link? <laughs> do you need to send do you need me to send you the link? Like, cause all you got to really do is go on YouTube. It's on YouTube. Literally, that's how I found out a lot of my stuff. Like, even how to edit, like, because when I first started editing, y'all. All I use is iMovie, and I still be using iMovie, even though I have a whole nother um, editing software that I be using. I still be using iMovie for certain things because I don't know how to do it on them other apps. My son do another little, another thumbnail. <laughs> Listen, y'all. The gel. Let me find the top. The gel, the gel is the truth. It's the truth. This is the main choice exotic Kool-Aid. I have not ever seen anybody review this product, y'all. So here's your first review. <laughs> it's 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 bomb. So and so <laughs> here are the end results. Here are the end results, y'all. So it's literally it's the next day. It's Monday. It's the next day. And so this is this is how my hair looks. This is how my hair looks. Now, listen, this right here is definitely giving me... Now, listen, I use a certain um, edge control and edge control just... Like, it does a really good job at, like, slicking it down. I used a lot of body edge control. It does a really good job at, like, slicking it down, but it has no hold. Literally, it has no hold. And I forgot. That's why I stopped using it, because it doesn't have any hold. But anyways, y'all, for a wash and go for me lately, this is literally how my hair has been looking for wash and goes. This pretty much how it's been coming out except there other than when i use a wet line usually my hair is a little bit more defined and there's some things that i wish i would have did differently um with this wash and go but i didn't because you know how i told you guys that i was gonna go get under my bonnet dryer and dry my hair nah that bro bro, bro didn't do that i didn't do that i didn't i went to sleep i put a bonnet on and i went to sleep and so something that i have noticed that 
when I do a wash and go, and if I put my bonnet dry on and go ahead and get my hair dry, them curls are last longer, longer. The definition will last longer. But literally, I put my bonnet on and went to sleep, and my hair was wet. I didn't try to dry it at all. And so even when I woke up, like my hair was pretty much dry my scalp it was more like my roots and my scalp was not dry but what i realized what i realized when i do that is a lot of times i lose definition and it's probably because of how i sleep baby i am a wild wild sleeper okay and so i feel like because i'm a wild sleeper my hair it just doesn't work well with my hair being wet and i feel like well i'm not i feel like but i've realized that a lot of times when i go to sleep with my hair wet i just lose definition especially if i was trying to do a wash and go but at the same time, like, I'm at, like, day five volume. No, more like day four volume. Y'all, I really got a lot of hair. Y'all don't be seeing it. Y'all can't really tell. But, y'all, I got a lot of hair. Okay? By day five, day six, it be update. It be B. It be real B. <laughs> but, yeah, y'all, I really wish I would have had went ahead and dried my hair. But also, what I do want to say about the gel is, not going to lie, that hold, that crunch is something different about that hold and that crunch. And really, this gel is very sticky. Now, okay, but anyways, before I go there, so something about this gel, like when I talk, when I say the the cast on the gel is different, like my hair felt dry. My hair felt dry at first, but once I went in with a little bit of oil and I like broke it up, honestly, even when I put it, my, well, honestly, so this is what happened. When I put the oil on my hand, it was like the gel got sticky. It was like the gel was sticky. It it was really sticky, y'all. It felt so sticky on my hands. Like when I would touch my hair, even when I wiped my hands off, it was still sticky as soon as I touched my hair. So what I did was like with my stretching, especially with a wash and go, I, like I was telling y'all on the live, I usually go like, let's say like this is a section. I stretch it out like this with the, um, with the blow dryer. And so once I did that with the dryer, the cast, it was like the cast just went away and my hair was soft. And it is soft. It's soft and it very much feels moisturized like it felt at first. Voice over Roger real quick. So when I used the gel, I didn't use a cream, any kind of styling cream. Um, so I realized that maybe that's what was the problem um, because the gel was so... It, the, it it's a strong gel and it really needed a curling cream underneath it. So if you decide to use this gel, I would advise you to use some type of curling cream because the leave-in conditioner just was not enough moisture to combat with this gel. So that's my that's what I'm thinking. We'll see next time though. We'll see next time I try this gel. So I don't know what it is about that. I don't know about that situation, but I did want to go ahead and let y'all know that if y'all do decide to try this um, gel, and then also it might be the fact that I didn't go ahead and dry my hair. Like I, I don't, I don't know, y'all, because I've never experienced that where like the gel felt so daggone sticky. It might really be the gel, but once I put that heat up there, my hair just softened right on up. So. Mm. Overall, y'all, I really did like this gel. It smelled really good. It did a really good job at clumping my curls. And honestly, I just don't mind the way my hair looks. But, I mean, you know, I'm still going to be honest. The fact that this is day one and my hair already looks like this, I know the wash and go isn't going to last long. It wouldn't last long, but I know for a fact that I'm not stretching this. Excuse me. I know for a fact that I'm not stretching this hair out five days. I'm only stretching it out for one more day because I got to do my hair. But I'm still not mad at how my hair looks. Like, you still, like, it's still very defined. And I still have a lot of volume already. But see, I, but I understand a lot of y'all really be wanting definition. And let me tell y'all, if y'all would have met the Roger, I mean, if this would have been the Roger with this gel about two, three months ago, I'll be mad as all get out. But honestly, I'm not mad. <laughs> I'm very glad. <laughs> But anyways, y'all, I really did enjoy this gel, and I am absolutely going to keep on trying it and keep on using it. I actually am going to try to do a comparison with another gel to see how it works. So y'all will see that video sooner or later. I ain't going to say soon because, you know, I'll be pre-recording, and I just don't know when y'all going to see certain videos. But you'll see it sooner or later.
And I absolutely want to try this gel again because I absolutely want to give it the justice that it deserves. And I know my hair is so much better once I apply a product and then go ahead and get under my bonnet dryer and dry it. But y'all, just a recap of my wash day. So first I went in with the Honey's Handmade Cleansing Chocolate Syrup. If you watched my recent video on YouTube, you will see that I did try this um, um, product when I used the, inf the chocolate infused products. And so y'all, I tried this again just because like I, my scalp was really going through some things. I just want to try this again. And honestly, y'all, I'm, I'm still just not a fan of it. Honestly, I just really don't see the use in it. Um, but you know, I'm just letting y'all know that I did try it again. And then I do be trying products again to make sure that I didn't do something wrong or, you know, like, cause sometimes you will try a product one time and it didn't work well. But that second, third time you trying to be like, dang, bruh, dang. This is actually good. So, you know, I actually did want to try it again. Might try it one more time. See, can I find some justice for it? But, you know, I just, I just don't know. But anyways, after I finished with that cleansing syrup, I went in with the Honey's Handmade Black Soap Honey and Avocado Co-Wash. And y'all, literally, this right here is a staple in my hair products. Literally, I live for this co-wash. It smells so good. It has like a little peppermint smell in my opinion. And then it just does a really good job at getting the scalp cleansed and also the hair be feeling so moisturized and conditioned after washing it out. I really love this co-wash. So I really was in a rush when I was doing this wash day and I wanted to reach for a conditioner because I wasn't able to deep condition. So I went for a conditioner that I knew would give me some really good moisture really quick. Um, and so I went in with the Head and Shoulders Royal Oils Moisture Renewal Conditioner. I said that so weird. But anyways, I went in with the Head and Shoulders Royal Oils Moisture Renewal conditioner and so y'all I, I really like this one even though it has a silicone like i told the people on the live it does have a silicone if you're a silicone sensitive person then this might not be for you but i really like it it leaves the hair so moisturized it also has my curls looking really nice and i'll try to show you guys how my curls looked in the beginning of the live but just know that this does do a really good job it does have silicone it has dimethicone in it each product in this line does have dimethicone in it so if you a sensitive person to silicones then this line ain't for you also i don't know why but it seems like everybody just getting on this line baby i've been on this line i've been on this line since like April last year. Like, I don't know, but child, but that, that ain't important. So once I reached that conditioner, I, I went in with the main choices, tropical moringa leave-in conditioner. And let me tell you something, this leave-in conditioner, this leave-in conditioner right here is the truth, y'all. It is the truth. It is a go-to. It is a staple in my hair products. Now, I haven't yet repurchased this, but trust and believe when Black Friday come, yeah, we getting about three, four, five of these right now. Because this right here, it deserves. It deserves an award. Like it really does. It's just every it's just everything you need. So much moisture, so much slip. That hair be feeling so moisturized and it just be so shiny. I just I really love this leave-in conditioner. And last but not least in the party, I went in with the main choices exotic kool-aid jello okay so let me let me read this full name to y'all because y'all know the main choice is good for all these names in the products so this is the main choice exotic kool-aid refreshing cool scalp and nourish laid hair luscious leche and dragon fruit definition of definition jello infused with biotin and vitamin d e so boom that's that, that's this gel for y'all okay I love, I, I ain't gonna say I love this gel. I really like this gel so far, okay? Like it. But I'm done talking. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that post notification bell so you get notified when I upload. Friend, don't you leave this video without hitting that like button, subscribing, and hitting that post notification bell so you get notified when I upload. Listen, I'm done talking. I hope your curls grow and your skin glows, and I'll see you next time. Bye, friend!